Hello, hello, hello again, guys. Um, this one's going to be a bit of a quicker tutorial, and I'm going to also ask you to embrace the randomness when it comes time to do the web. Um, a Black Widow web is different than other types of webs. It's really not that beautiful pattern. It's kind of chaos. So, but we're going to do the spider first. As you can see, um, as I suggested uh, when I posted the supplies, I suggested that you go ahead and do a neutral or medium gray background. I let that fully dry and then I went ahead and transferred my image on here. Um, you can do it in any direction you want. Um, you know, this is, it's literally just a black widow on a bunch of web. So you can have it bigger, smaller, going this way, upside down, however you want it just have fun with it. So I know the light is intense and this gray has kind of a sheen to it. So I'm going to turn off my overhead light real quick so that you can see. Um, I do in fact have my uh, traceable on here, or excuse me, not traceable, my image transferred on here. And um, so now that I'm going to start painting, I will go ahead and turn the light back on. We're just going to do really simple um, Black, filling in with black, just basically the base color. Um, as we have been doing, we will be layering because my in intention for this one is going to be um, a little bit more realistic than the cartoony stuff that we've done. So I'm taking my thinnest brush because these are pretty thin little legs here on this little guy. And I did thin out the paint just a touch with my glazing liquid. Um, you can use water if you don't have glazing liquid or if your paint, if you're using a craft paint, you def you may not need to use that at all. So I'm just going through um, and doing the very tips for right now. And then I'm going to come back in because each section of the leg, it gets a tiny bit wider. Okay, And I'm not worrying about the chalk lines because if you remember from the last couple tutorials, if the chalk line um, is still showing and you don't want it to be showing, you can either rub it off or um, use a very clean wet brush with very clean water to try to um, get it off. You can hear my washing machine singing to you. It's done with its load. My studio, for those who are not familiar with me, is it is very tiny. I have literally one, like a half wall in my basement, which also is our guest room and utility room and my husband's workspace. So the poor guy gets kicked out of here when I have to record. Um, but you do what you have to do, right? You make it work. You don't need a dedicated space. I know several of my students and my members who paint on a regular basis, um, they use their dining room tables. So. so I'm just coming in, filling in each, I keep wanting to call them digits, but each section, I guess, of the legs spiders really creep me out 
I don't know why I decided to pick one for <laughs> to do a tutorial. But hey, it is Halloween and if you're not doing something that creeps you out, then you're not doing it right, right? So I'm just coming in and, and really just filling in everything and then we'll come back in and do the highlights and um, if there's any shadows we can add the shadows as we go. I'm going to avoid the little hourglass thing you know uh, Black Widows have those little hourglass markings because you will not be able to cover up black with the cadmium red. Cadmium is just way too, um, way too transparent to even try to do that. So just be very careful when you're going around the hourglass. In my traceable, I had put, I think a little rectangle down at the bottom here. I guess some of the images I was I was looking at to get a reference photo for this, they showed another red dot, but I just, you can add that if you want. I just decided against it for mine. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna rinse all the black out of my brush. Get all the water off that I can. Now I'm going to just use the cadmium red to come in and do, or if you have um, primary red, whatever red you can get your hands on is fine. So spiders are actually very, 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 very shiny, um, especially, well, mo I should say some spiders are very, very shiny. Um, they, the black widows have almost a sheen to them. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to be adding highlights to the spider. So I'm going to just come in with my, the very point of my brush. And I'm going to come in and try to do just a few little highlights here and there. Just to make this guy look like he's kind of popping off the canvas here a little bit. And if you feel like you need to tone it down a little bit, by all means, please go ahead and tone tone these down. As I said, it's it's a whole thing with layering. And uh, I know some of these are a bit stark, so I will go over them a bit to lighten them some. But this just gives you a little bit of an idea for right now. All right, so let's see. And then we're in the middle of his little body here. It's like almost a little kind of heart-shaped thing and I am going to go over this with more layers here. I'm just laying this out for myself a bit. Okay. 
just setting the groundwork for some pretty cool highlights on this freaky guy's little body. Okay. And then there's a little bit in here. And along the side. So you can see really how this is starting to come together. I'm going to add a quite a shine, a couple shine marks on the body here. All right, so now I'm going to come in and tone some of this down a tiny bit. So I'm going to be adding a touch of black to make kind of a subtle grayish color. And where I don't want it to be super stark, I'm going to come in and kind of tone it down just a smidge. Come in here and tone down. Part of that. Let's see here. Okay. So you see, he's, he's really, really starting to kind of come together here. A little bit more brightness in here. And just really, just add touches wherever you think it might need that little bit of, of a sheen. I'm going to come clean up a little bit because I have made some of the lines a little bit too wide. So I'm taking the black and just thinning, thinning some of them out here. Because even with your um, little thin liner brush, you can sometimes still make your lines too thick if you're not careful. That's why I like to twist my brush as I'm working, just to kind of make sure my point is still pretty, pretty intense there. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with how this looks for here, but I'm going to come in and here and kind of tone this down, this one down a smidge. Make that one Oops, I had red where I needed to add black. That's okay. We'll cover it up. There we go. So 
So there we have our shiny, shiny, shiny little spider. I'm gonna kind of add a little bit of maybe some faint dotting here and there just to kind of add some interest to this little dude. Okay. Add a bit more just white on here because this this part was really really shiny. This is all, it just comes down to tweaking. Whatever you like, you know, just have fun with this. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, calm down my desire for um, <laughs> that photorealistic look because I tend to, that's what I work on and those kind of paintings can take well, maybe not for something this small, but sometimes those can take several days to do. Okay, guys, so apparently um, my camera just uh, decided to stop working and you didn't get to see me doing these lovely webs. So I am now on my phone camera, I'm hoping you can see this. So it is randomness. The whole thing is randomness. What I ended up doing um, was using a ton of glazing medium or you can use water and just a touch of paint the white was too stark for me so i added a touch of black pardon me to it to get this gray this light gray color that is on here and i'm using this liner brush it's a calligraphy brush um it is um you don't have to use that you can use a very thin round brush um you know if you have a, a thin pointy brush like this or even if all you have is one of these little tiny things just roll it around in your paint so that you have a point and you can use that to just very little pressure so um no no special equipment needed okay um so I'm going to show you right now a few a few strokes because like I said um the webbing on a black widow I, I i don't know if this got cut off in the video so i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself um is not like what you see in your garden from a garden spider um they are a hot mess as you see on here um it's lots of random markings okay so just go through and do lots and lots of little thin lines. I tried to keep the focus of the webs away from your spider because you don't want to lose all that beautiful work that you've done there on your spider. So if you want to go really crazy with doing lots of webbing, I would do it more so around the corners just so that you don't lose all that detail that you worked hard on for your spider here. Okay, so it's just doing lots of lines, just lines back and forth. And every once in a while, I'll come in and connect a couple of the lines with another short one, forming some triangles and different, different patterns in there, okay? So just have fun with it. Do as few or, or as many lines as you would like and just have fun and then don't forget to sign we lost the signature in the the camera as well so just keep going it only took me a couple minutes to do this um but i hope you enjoy all right thanks guys